Good morning, everybody. Today we are going to start our worksheet. Worksheet number two. This is class is for class two, and this is for worksheet number two. In previous class, we have read the worksheet. That portion, reading portion, we have read. I think you all have read it properly and understood the paragraph. The paragraph is talking about noun, common noun, and proper noun. In previous lecture, we have studied about what are common noun and what are pro proper noun. So in this in this class we are going to do the exercise portion. Previously we have done, read the paragraph, this one, and now we are going to do the exercise. The exercise belongs to page number six and seven. Okay. Now let me take a quick recap that what is common noun and proper noun. As you all know, naming words are called noun. So what are proper noun and common noun? The special name given to place, animal. A person are called proper noun. In the same way, common noun. Talking about common noun. Common. What a common noun? Common noun are those noun which uh, commonly given name like boys. They didn't. They didn't have any particular name like Ram and Sham. If we call them Ram and Sham, they belong to the proper noun. So these are called common noun and proper noun. Now in this. Paragraph question number one and two. It has been given the picture description. We have to do okay. So here is the picture in page number six. The picture is given. We have to describe the picture using the common and proper noun. Okay. So here, here is the picture. You can, as you see in your textbook. Firstly, when we start, you should open your book first. Okay. Worksheet. Here in the picture, there are two boys. Okay. Two boys. One boy, boy is riding a bicycle, and the second boy is sailing a boat. So, there are dash in the picture. What are there? There are, there are two. What are the two? Two boys. So, this one belongs to common noun. There are two boys in the picture. Okay. Next, what is happening then? One boy is riding a what? One boy is what riding? As you see in the picture, one boy is riding a bicycle. So we will write here: one boy is riding a bicycle, and another boy is sailing. Another boy, the small boy or the younger boy is what? He is sailing boat. Okay. Then the boy in the bicycle. Is wearing a as you can see the boy who is riding a bicycle is wearing a cap. We use cap when we are going out in the in sun. Na? We can also see a dash and a dash in the picture. What we can see in the picture? There are trees. We can see a tree and a house in the picture. Okay. Next one. The picture is of a dash in a house. Another another picture is given here, just below below this paragraph. It, the paragraph is describing the picture. Who, the house is very messy, or you can say the room. We are talking about the room. It is very messy. All the things are stare here and there. Books, copy. They are not very dirty house, isn't it? So we are talking about this one. The picture is of a mess. In a house, mess is called mess means very dirty, not clean. Just like just like this, the picture is given in your textbook. There is a dash and a dash lying on the floor. What does what is lying in the floor? You guys, as you can see, there are many things lying in the floor. So we can write here. The book and the toy is lying. Books are also lying here and there. Toys, everything, clothes. And all, everything are lying here and there. Many books are kept on the. As you can see, a corner table is there. What is put on the table? What is on the table? There is. There are books. How? There are books on the table. And we can also see some dash on the floor. What are? What more things are lying on the floor? Can you see? Can you tell? Yes, there are clothes, books, and toys are also lying over. We can see more books. Okay, more books lying on the floor. 
Understood? I think this one has been clear to you. Note it down quickly. Okay. Now, moving further, we will do another exercise belonging to common noun. Okay. I will write some sentence here. It's belong to your book. Question number B2. Understood? Uh, then you have to circle the common noun given in the sentence. So, let's do that one also. Okay, what's the question here? Circle the common noun. B2 is the question number. Circle the common noun. Circle the common noun in these sentences. First sentence I will write here. The girl went to the market with her brother. Okay, read the sentence once again with me. What is written here? The girl went to the market with her brother. The girl went to market with her brother. So, what are common noun here? Firstly, you can see common name. Isn't it? We have to underline those words which are common noun. So, Girl. Girl is a common noun. The girl doesn't, doesn't have any particular name. So, this one belongs to common noun. Then again market. We are talking about a place. The name of the market is not mentioned here. So, this one is our common noun. Again, brother. Brother. The, brother, the brother's name is not identified or not mentioned yet. So, we will also circle this one. This one is also our common now, understood? Now, second one. The book on that table belongs to me. The book on the on that table belongs to me we uh, again we have to circle the common noun the book the book the name of the book is not mentioned here so this one is also our common noun circle it the book on the table belongs to me so this one is the only common noun here in this sentence okay moving to now next sentence 3 i Live in that house. Again read the sentence once again. I live in that house. Where do I live? I live in that house. The house name you can see or you can find nearby you. The many houses have a, have a name also, isn't it? So this one is... Our common noun, the name of the house or title is not being given here. So, this one is our common noun, this belonging to thing. Fourth one, I love to play with dogs and cats. Again read the sentence once again with me. I love to play with dogs and cats. Okay. I think you are understanding now. I love to play with dogs and cats. What are common noun here? Dogs and cats. The name of the dog pet given 
is not mentioned here so this one dog is also common noun and cats are also common noun circle it very good now moving to next one question number 5 it is fun to be with friends it is fun to be with friends again it is fun to be with friends here noun is friends we are not having the name of the friends na like geeta sita rita ram sham and all that we are not having the name of the friends so common noun is friends circle over it understood okay after doing this work you can send it to me i'll check your work that you have done your work properly or not understood on those who have not purchased the workbook and book please purchase it as soon as possible because we are going to move further and further so it's very important thank you for watching the video